I've just moored up here. I was moored only about, I don't know, less than half a mile in that direction, up by the fields, which I did a little short video on. I've just moved down closer to the village, and I'll take a walk to the butchers. I didn't expect to see any spaces down around here, but there are quite a few by the looks. Well, I'm quite happy where I am, because I'm not under any trees. So I can get some sun. I'm good for solar for the rest of the day. And I intend to move on tomorrow. <laughs> down here past the plume of feathers. Last time I came down here, they had a huge marquee out the front here. I guess no longer. And here we have the shops. I'm hoping the butcher's open. And here we have it, Mark's Quality Meats. I just walked up back past the Plume of Feathers. I did walk back to the boat and drop off my shopping. Now, part of the village is the other side of the canal. So I'm going to have a walk up the other side of the canal and see what's up here. I've never been this side of the canal before, except for going to the one stop, which I'm just about to walk past. And there we have the one stop. There's always a train coming because lots of people are waiting. Barriers are down of course and there's cars everywhere. The most quicker walking. Alright, here we go. We'll get across the tracks before they close again. Oh, it's like an open bus. Careful crossing the tracks here. A lot of cars around. So we're walking up the hill now, quite steep. The road's the other side of this hedge here, so it makes it a little bit secluded. Well, I was told it was up the hill, they're not wrong. Big old house here, the gables. There's a big old house behind here as well. So, it's in a little bit of disrepair. Oh, well, you can see by the size of some of these properties around here, there was money around this area at one point in time. It seems none of it seems to be used anymore. There must be somewhat of a decline going on. Another big house from behind there, I guess with a driveway. At least the hedgerows have been trimmed here. It's easy to walk. Oh, there's a school up here. Barlison First School. Well, it doesn't really look like a school. Perhaps it's not there. A church over there. A fairly modern church. Oh, the school's up this road. Another sign. No idea where. More rather large properties on the other side there. Well, we have the Barlison Village sign here.
big old lime tree here. He plants that quite nicely underneath. Can we have a <coughs> commemorative bench here of the World War I, or the Great War, or the First World War, however you want to call it. And I'll see a new bench here. This is a commissioned in commemorative of King Charles III's coronation last year. Just over a year ago now. Which are right next door to the memorial here. And the village falls up this way, so let's have a walk up this way. No footpath here, so we've got to be careful. And here we have the village hall. Well, I won't mess it up. Lovely flowers once again. It's outside the village hall. Another nice house here. This one's much, much newer, of course. After walking up that hill, I didn't know this was here. That is a Duke of York pub. I think I opened myself a pint. Yeah, I'm sure I have. Duke of York pub. Well, let's go and have a pint. So I think whilst there's nobody actually in the pub here, Take a quick look around. There's some wonderful old signage to look at as well. Well, I've had a couple of really nice pints of tribute tonight. It's gone down very, very well. And I was chatting to the landlord about the flags and I said I wanted one for my boat and he's given me one. How very kind is that? Here are some photographs of a few more of the old signages here within the pub and a picture of the pub back in the 1970s. The door on the end is no longer there. Well, I'm actually filming this the next day and there's a reason behind that. When I was in the pub, the Duke of York, the landlord gave me a new flag for my boat. As you can see it flying right now. Yes, I've sent the St. George's Cross flying. Flag of England. That's going to bring me to the end of this video. If you're not already subscribed, please do subscribe. And hit the old bell notification button and all options. Click all options, YouTube will show you every time I upload a new video. Otherwise, they will decide whether they are or not. Of course, a big thank you goes out to all the supporters of the channel uh, and all the ways you do, which includes, of course, watching my videos. Well, that just seems to say, thank you very much for watching. Trevor out.